Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is LB The Realist, and this is Surrealistic Studios, LB and the AM. Thank you for joining me. And before I even start the video, do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you're not a subscriber already, please hit the subscribe button, hit that bell so you can get all my notifications, so you can be informed on all the latest stories from politics to current events to science. It's all important stuff that we need to know. There's nothing more important to me than being aware. All right. So on that note, I'll go ahead and get into it with the first story. A uh, right-wing blogger arrested at his okay, it's okay to be white speech. Uh, Mr. Lucian Wintrich, 29 years old, he's actually a White House correspondent for the Right Wing Gateway Pundit website, as well as the Washington Bureau Chief for the Trump Boosting blog. He was actually arrested Tuesday uh, during his speech at, at the University of Connecticut. Um, like I said, it, it, it was, uh, it's okay to be white speech. I don't know exactly what was said. But during the speech, uh, a young lady walks up to him where he's speaking at, at a desk and takes a piece of paper from him. And he just rushes over to She starts walking away. He rushes over to her, grabs her by the backpack and like swings his arm around. Like, it looks like he's going to put her in a headlock or something like that. It looks like he did. I don't know. It was crazy. It was a way overblown reaction to what she did. You know, it was just too much so he was actually charged with a misdemeanor breach of peace um arrested and released later that night on a thousand dollar bond so um authorities are looking into whether anyone else did anything wrong um to see if there's going to be any more ch charges filed but that was i would leave the description i'll leave the link in the description so you guys can check it out yourself it was just way too much it was like dude come on but at the same time the college's reaction to him speaking was way too much. Now, before he even showed up, I guess they were like tearing down his posters and his flyers to the event. And it was just a big uproar because he was speaking there. And this is not the first time we've seen this kind of reaction from people going to colleges and speaking. We all know that Richard Spencer had a similar incident. Um, my, uh, my, what is that dude, Maya Yiannopoulos or whatever, that guy had an incident. I don't particularly agree with these folks when they speak. Although I don't really have anything wrong to say. I don't have anything negative to say about uh, Mr. Lucian Wintrip's speech. It's okay to be white. I don't know what was said in the speech. So again, I don't know what was said in the speech, but just from the title alone, I don't have anything wrong with that. It's okay to be white. It's okay to be black. It's okay to be whatever you are. Our differences are what make us great. You know, our differences are what make up this country. It's why our country is so great. You know, because we're all different. We're all the same, but we're all different at the same time. You feel me? And that's that's a beautiful thing, if you ask me. But, you know, this isn't the first time we've seen this, you know, and these people shouldn't be prevented from speaking. I don't agree with what they have to say a lot of the times, but that doesn't mean that because I don't agree with them that I'm not going to allow them to speak their piece. That's wrong. It's wrong for people on the left to do it, and it's wrong for people on the right to do it. You have to let people speak. I let, I let racists, if you're racist, I'll let you speak your piece. Why are you racist? What is on your mind? I want to have this conversation so that I can learn. We only grow through resistance. How are you ever going to grow with people that just agree with you all, all the time? Like, yes, men and yes, women. Like, I don't want that. I want people that challenge me. I want people that question me. That way they keep me on my toes and I want to do the same for other people so that I'm able to keep them on your toes. That's why I say it's important to be self-critical. It's important to be self-critical and let others criticize you as well. Not in malice or not in hate, not in negativity, but all in love and all in trying to build and boost each other up. So all this bullshit about not letting them speak and the college being in an uproar, it's just way too much for me. I think you guys need to just chill out and let these people speak. We're supposed to, like Kyle Kalinske says, we're supposed to win in the realm of ideas. How are, how are you any better than the people that you ran and rave about if you're not even allowing them to speak? You cannot censor people speaking. You cannot do that. That's against the First Amendment. We all have the right to say whatever the hell we want to. Now, given there's some things that we can't say, you know, like we all know you can't yell fire in a movie theater or whatever, a bomb in a plane. We all know that kind of stuff. And that's accepted. That's socially, socially accepted. But... When it comes to stuff like this, you guys need to get it together. Let these people speak their piece and debate and argue like adults are supposed to, okay? 
And on that note, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for joining me again. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. Do you guys think that people like Lucian or, or Richard Spencer or Maya Yiannopoulos or whatever should be banned from speaking at colleges or events simply because of the things that they say? Now, again, if they if they're if they're if they're spouting off direct threats of violence, that's wrong. Of course, we all I, th I think that we can agree on that. But if they're just, you know, speaking dumbass shit, then go ahead and let them. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It's still dumb shit at the end of the day, right? All right. Until next time, love, peace, and chicken grease.